let's take a look here at S3 Transfer Acceleration, which is a bucket level feature that provides fast and secure transfer files over long distances between your end users and your bucket. And the way we're gonna do this is by utilizing CloudFront's edge locations to quickly enter the Amazon Global Network. So we aren't actually directly uploading to uh, the standard endpoint. We're going to be using a distinct endpoint, which is this S3 hyphen accelerate. And they have a dual stack version of it. Of course, use the dual stack one because that supports both IPv4 and IPv6 um, uh, when you can. Now I need to point out that S3 Transfer Acceleration only supports virtual hosted style requests. So we'll need to configure that before we use that. Buckets cannot contain periods for whatever reason. And um, it can take up to 20 minutes after uh, transfer acceleration is enabled in order for this to take effect. So how are we gonna use it? It's very straightforward. What we're gonna do is enable transfer acceleration on the bucket. So make sure that feature is turned on. And then what we can do is globally configure virtual hosted style requests so that everything after that um, is going to uh, utilize that there. And then we're going to specify the endpoint URL. So there I'm just uh, putting the standard endpoint in there. And so it'll utilize that um, during upload. If we want to always uh, set the accelerated endpoint and not have to supply the endpoint URL every single time, we can also globally set that as well. Uh, but there you go.